for this recording, I'm going to give you a quick introduction of cylindrical coordinates in a three-dimensional system. The lesson consists of five parts. First, what is a cylindrical coordinate? Second, conversion between cylindrical coordinates and rectangular coordinates. Third, simple surfaces in cylindrical coordinates. Fourth, an example to show you how to convert cylindrical coordinates to rectangular coordinates. And finally, the conversion by calculator. So let's look at what is a cylindrical coordinate. We know that in a three-dimensional system, we are familiar with the usual Cartesian coordinates using x, y, z. Now instead of using x, y, z, there's another one using r, theta, and z. We call it the cylindrical coordinates, where r is the distance from the point to the z-axis, theta is the angle rotated by the x-axis, and z is the usual z-coordinate. Let's look at how to redo the conversion. This is a diagram showing the point x, y, z on the left hand side and also r, theta, z on the right hand side. They are the location of the same point using different coordinate system. So r, how are the x, y, z and r, theta, z related? I hope this picture will show you. Now we are going to use some right angle triangle. For example, in we have the point P there and origin O. So you do a perpendicular projection of OP on the XY plane and then this distance will be R. Now form the right angle triangle, we know that if the angle theta is given, we know that cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine theta will be equal to x over r, where r is a distance on the point P to the z-axis. So that means that x equal to r cosine theta, similar to polar coordinates. We also know sine theta is equal to opposite of our hypotenuse. So sine theta is equal to opposite of theta is y, hypotenuse is r. So that means y equal to r sine theta and z in the cylindrical coordinate and the Cartesian coordinate are the same. So the z in the Cartesian coordinate and the z in the cylindrical coordinate are the same. So we have this conversion formula. This formula will help you to convert cylindrical coordinate to Cartesian coordinate. That means that the formula I give you will help you convert cylindrical to Cartesian or rectangular coordinate. Now, can we go back? Yes, we can also go back by looking at the distance from the point P to the z-axis is the same as this distance R here. So we know that R is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. And the theta, we know that tangent theta is y over x. However, 
you have to be careful about location of x and y. This is because theta for the point x equal to 1, y equal to 1, and theta for x equal to minus 1, y equal to minus 1 are different. However, they have the same tangent theta. Now, this result gives you the conversion from rectangular coordinate of to cylindrical coordinate. I have left out z here because the z in rectangular coordinate and the z in cylindrical coordinate is identical. We are going to investigate simple surfaces using cylindrical coordinates. First, you must understand that if you are given a surface r equal to r zero, what you get will be a cylinder because every point on the blue cylinder have r equal to r zero. If we have theta equal to theta zero, this will be a slanted plane, half plane, making an angle theta equal to theta zero from the x axis. You are given z equal to z zero, this is a horizontal plane where every point on this plane have z equal to z zero. Let's look at what they mean. So if you fix the value of r, let's say r equal to 2, then you're going to get a cylinder surface. And every point on the cylinder surface of radius 2 with the axis at z axis will have r equal to 2. If you fix the value of theta, let's say theta equal pi over 3, then you are going to get a plane which incline at an angle pi over 3 from the x-axis and every point on this plane theta is equal to pi over 3. If you fix the value of z, so z equal to 3, then you're going to get a horizontal plane where at any point on this horizontal plane, the z coordinate is equal to 3. Let's examine this further. If you have an intersection of surfaces, if the surface intersect, you're going to give you a curve. So for example, if you fix r equal to 2 and theta equal to pi over 3, what will happen? r equal to 2 will give you a cylinder. And then theta equal to pi over 3 will give you a half plane. And then this half plane will cut the cylinder and give you a straight line. And so this is the intersection of these two surfaces. Every point on this straight line have r equal to 2 and theta equal to pi over 3. What happened if I fix r and z? Let's say r is equal to 2 and z equal to 3. r equal to 2 will be a cylinder with this 2 axis and z axis. And then z equal to 3 is pink plane z equal to 3. So the intersection will be a circle. Let's look at another one. If you fix z and theta. So let's say I have z equal to 3, theta equal to pi over 3. 
what kind of curve I'm going to get. Now z equal to 3 is again. Delta equal to pi over 3 is this plane here, pi over 3. So when you look at the intersection, the intersection will be a straight line where the plane z equal to 3 and theta equal to pi over 3 intersect. And so this is a line of intersection. Every point on this line, you'll find that z is equal to 3 and theta is pi over 3. Let's look at one example. Find the rectangular coordinate of the point given the cylindrical coordinates r theta z equal to 4 pi over 3 minus 3. That means that we know that r is equal to 4 theta equal to pi over 3 z equal to minus 3. You can either use a formula to convert them into x, y, z or try to draw a diagram to try to understand this so look at the Howard Anton text there so if you have a point let's say I have a x, y, z axis I show here r equal to 4 means the point lies on a cylinder of radius 4 from the z axis then Theta equal pi over 3 means you make an angle pi over 3 from the x axis. So you know the direction. And then z equal to minus 3 means from the xy plane you go down 3 units. And this will locate the point for you. You can use a formula x equal to r cosine theta, which is 4 cosine pi over 3, which is 2 y equal to r sine theta, which is 4 sine pi over 3, which is 2 square root 3, and z equal to minus 3. The next slide shows you how to get the x, y, z, where the z is still the same, so in fact it's finding x and y by the calculator. So let me call out the calculator, and set the mode to radial mode first, so I do a setup, and then 4 for radial mode, then I'm going to find the rectangular for the coordinates. I'm going to find a rectangular coordinate given the polar form. So I press shift, rectangular coordinate, r is 4, then comma, then theta is pi over 3. So shift pi over 3. Close the bracket, equal, then say x is equal to 2 y equal 3.46 so that means that x equal to 2 y equal 3.46 and z is equal to minus 3 you can check easily that 2 times square root 3 right 2 times square root 3 is equal to 3.46 so this is how you convert cylindrical coordinate to rectangular coordinate. That's the end of the recording.